Okay, I'm gonna start sharing my screen. Sure, Melissa. Uh, you go. wanna? What you wanna? Can we? Uh, do you want to really quickly just check my runes mass race? Uh, yeah, sure. Because I did a small adaptation to the uh, cat life runes, and I wanted your feedback on that if you don't mind. Um, my cat life. Yeah. So I just I just use free MR uh, glyphs. Yeah. Um, because I I don't know maybe it's overkill, but I kind of like it. And uh, you were totally right. You don't need armor because Cat's uh, base armor is extremely high. Like it's really cool. It's twenty-seven. Yeah, it's really yeah, good. Yeah, it's that's a lot higher than most millers, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's because Katarina is melee, and melees usually have higher armor stats, higher attack damage stats, and scaling magic resist. And what Katarina has on top of that is um, a stronger base magic resist than most mid laners or characters yeah. in general, because most melees have. 32 magic resist and scale up to I think like 545 or something, mm -hmm. but Katarina actually starts out at uh, at 34, so mm -hmm. you basically have three magic resist glyphs more magic resist than your ranged enemy mid laner. So yeah, and I'm not sure you you will start the game with 38 magic resist if you feel like you need it, then you can take it. But what I'm thinking is. Why do you need magic resist? You need it because you want to avoid magic damage, and in the laning, which is the only thing where roots are actually really worthwhile, um, you are going to get poked with mag magic damage, but you have like 80 HP more than you had before, you have like this um, HP regeneration buff, you could dodge some stuff with the W movement speed or a shunpo. Like, if you play it well, I don't think you need the magic resist, and if you just funnel that into more damage, I just feel like that's stronger. Okay. Okay, sorcery is self-explanatory. Then we have feast or fresh blood. Like, the third option would be exposed weakness. I guess you can take that. I know some Katarinas do take that. I know some good Katarinas do take that. I don't like it. It's like the this, this setup champion. Uh, if, you, if you take it, you'd basically say, I want to go in and damage everyone before my team really starts the fight. And what you actually want to do is clean up the fight after your team is done, like blowing all the CC and stuff like that. You know, maybe this would be good if you go Sunfire Cat. Maybe, but even Sunfire Cat transforms into a cleanup champion yeah. in late game because you go rabbit on voids and gen just full damage. Okay. So the other two options are Fresh Blood and Feast. And, um,. What we gotta think about is that both of these masteries are really only strong in the laning. Like Feast lets you sustain really well, and Fresh Blood is just for the all in. So, but it's only ten damage. I, I don't feel I, I don't like this point. Like I, I, I've been trying it on the block for a bit, but I don't mm -hmm. know. I just don't feel it's worth getting it. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's ten damage, and it's twelve at level two and thirteen at level three, which is which are the levels when you wanna all in. And it's also on a six second cooldown. So basically whenever you go in, in lane, you will have these 13 extra, extra damage. 13, 14, 15, 16. And I, I don't know, I really like it. I think playing with Feast gives you an easier laning phase. But if you are in a matchup where you don't need it, then Fresh Blood will always be better. All right, so this actually makes your level two all in a lot stronger. It, like does, it does three. make it. A, it does actually make a difference. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna I, try to. I feel like it actually makes a difference. I'm taking it every game right now. Okay. Which doesn't mean that I think it's better. I, I sometimes go through phases where it, um, try out stuff, but for the moment, I think it's really good. Okay. Um. Yeah. The third tier is perfect. That's exactly how I do it, and most others. Then we have. Bounty Hunter, Double-Edged Sword, and Battle Trends, and I'm really torn about these because um, I really like having 5% extra damage at level 1, 2, 3 in the early game. What, yeah. what I think is kind of weird is that you get Feast, like you don't get Fresh Blood, which is the best early game damage mastery you're gonna find. Then I find. go Double-Edged Sword. And yeah, then yeah, you go yeah. Double-Edged Sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. Feast is like, I'm just gonna farm, I'm gonna sustain, you can't poke yeah, and me. You, and you go bounty hunter, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that. That's a bit weird. Right. So yeah, either yeah. go fresh blood, double edged sword, or feast bounty hunter. Yeah. You, yeah. you can also and go that's... fresh blood bounty hunter. Like bounty hunter is also a mastery that tells you go in and kill your enemy laner because you need the two point five percent, so it's good synergy. Uh, one point five percent damage. 
Mm. Yeah, better trends. I'll take it I when I go Sunfire. The only mess, the only champion I like it on is TF. I don't know, I don't like that one. Battle trends, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to use it. That's fine. Battle Bounty Hunter is probably the best mastery in this in this tier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, cunning, savagery versus wanderer, and I'm also taking five points in savagery right now. Um, I mean, I mean, to quickly. I think you should go with the other one if you play movement speed quint. Mm -hmm. But I think playing movement speed quint is is like not ideal because I think yeah. cat usually has huge solo kill potential. I mm -hmm. mean, yeah, I've been blamed a lot for not roaming a lot, but I think the new cat shouldn't roam a lot. Yeah, it's definitely uh, worth to just rush a high stick gun blade without going for the yeah. boots, and you don't really go for a Ludens rush. You upgrade your boots early, then you you delay your power spike if the gun blade, and I don't think that's worth. Okay, um, so savagery is fine. Um, I've been thinking about taking wanderer. Maybe I'll try it out soon, but savagery is totally fine. Then buff runic affinity makes no sense now that blue buff doesn't give AP anymore. Secret stash I don't like because you don't really need the sustain with your yeah. a HP regeneration and all that shit. And assassin is the obvious choice right here for the solo kill potential. Yeah. To get assassin when mm -hmm. I would get refillable because yeah. then I, you know like uh, the cookies wouldn't give me that much. So that's kind of my point. Yeah, I often go refillable too. Like secret stash is gonna be worth it if you go for a lot of potions, but you really don't have to. Refillable potion is pretty strong right now. Yeah, Merciless is obvious. Yeah, and Greenfather's, Greenfather's Gift I don't think is worth. There are not many brushes in the mid lane. I don't take it for top lane either. Maybe I could. But Dangerous Game is just too good for me to pass up. Yeah. Because it makes yeah. diving a lot easier. It gives you a lot of HP in uh, team fights together with extra gun blade. If you're really low and then you get a triple kill, suddenly you have yeah, like 500, yeah. 600, 700 HP. You can survive a lot more. And um, yeah, precision is obvious. Five percent cooldown reduction is not bad, but getting this, what is it? Um, how much is it? Six? No. I think this gives you eight. Eight point 8.4 magic penetration. That's more than a whole set of magic pen marks, and that's kind of insane. Thunder Lords is great. Um, okay, so these are fine. I like this. You, the only thing you need to change probably is uh, the double-edged sword because it's, I, I don't know, it, it's pretty cheesy. Like the 2.5 extra damage that you take, 2.5% extra damage is gonna really suck in the late game if, if you play against Pokems or you die before you get your whole combo off. Like one one more ulti would have got your reset but you died first, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, totally. And Bounty Hunter just scales really well, and Katarina also scales really well at the moment, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, let's now take a look at the replay. Yeah, I played horrible that game. Yeah, it's okay, that's perfect. Um, so, what you do in this game is you're going Dark Seal in three pots. I I'm do this every game. Yeah, yeah, I'm assuming you do it because you, yeah, okay, that's bad. Um, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe you can tell me. Uh, is the longsword buy better? Uh, that that's the only other thing that I was considering. Like longsword uh, refill. Yes, but... longsword is better. Okay. But it's not always better. This is a matchup that you should win hard because Vagar has no means of stopping you. And this is a flash ignite Vagar. He doesn't have barrier. He doesn't have heal. Doesn't have ghost or exhaust. Like no Vegas would do because they just yeah, want to yeah, farm. Yeah. He goes for the kills, so what you do is you get Longsword, you get the Cat Life runes, you get maybe even Double Edge Sword, and you just kill him level 2, you kill him level 3, you kill him level 4. Try to get... Well, yeah, well, oh. yeah. Yeah, okay, so you try to abuse him. So you yeah. start right. auditing the, auditing the yeah, wave. Yeah, I, did, didn't, I didn't queue the wave, because that would push it too fast. Mm, yeah. Okay, so you start auto-attacking, and then you realize, oh, I sh maybe should I, I should freeze? Yeah. I mean, he wasn't coming to lane, so uh, it's hard not to freeze this way. I could have, okay. like, pulled the way. Yeah, you also missst once, yes, even though there was no enemy laner. You yeah. should try practicing in bot games. Um... Like, there wasn't the der derogatory comment, I'm just saying, practicing CSing in bot games is really good. It helps everyone at every level. Just go in without runes and masteries, try to get every CS. Okay, so, um, right now you don't... You used your Q. That's interesting because after the seventh minion, you're usually gonna get level two. He's way too far up. You can Q, E, auto attack, auto attack, ignite, E, auto attack. He's definitely gonna die. So you get level two, you can do nothing with it. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. That would have been better to just like oh. wait for the Q. Okay. 
So now you're trying to use your Q to CS, but fun because you missed your chance. Yeah. Now I think I think I realized here, and I was like, yeah, let's wait for level three. So. Um, I and now the the Y comes with the level three gank. So he's was, trying trying to freeze. I was I was sure I would get gank here, so that's why I played a bit careful. Yeah, you can ward actually. You can yeah, ward topside and here. stick to the top side or something yeah. like that. I'm just trying to get the wave pushed back here. Like that, that was what I was thinking. You're trying to freeze. Like you don't want to push into his turret. I mean, I mean, the way I wanted to play this matchup was I wanted him to cage and then just jump in him and kill him. Mm. But you can jump or, in before he uses cage and I mean, jump I out. Can just, I, yeah, what I usually try to do is just go for the QE trace and then jump back without losing anything. Yeah. You can definitely like kill him right now. Yeah, just do that. Give him a Q. So yeah, now I'm getting ganked. Yeah. Here I figured out that you Perfect. can eat a Q. That's that's yeah. I was really, I was like, what? That actually works. <laughs> a side note, uh, yeah, this works in every elo. I've done this a hundred times. A side note, you can E after Vi hits you. Like, if I yeah. charges at you and you E, and she hits you while you cast E, you will still finish the cast time and fin finish your blink. But then you will just like be stunned after your blink. Yeah, so. like for half a oh. second. You can E that, you can actually... You're not play playing very aggressively, you could play no, way, I was, way more I aggressively. Was, I, was, I, was, I was sure that I would get ganked again here, so that's why I was kind of chilling it for a bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah he and should now, be this, dead now. This is a free kill here, like this is free. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't agree with this. I don't think you should have ignited. Was he dead anyway? Yeah, I think he was if dead I did anyway. Did the auto reset correctly? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Did I so do you have you have every correctly? spell. You have every spell. Now you level up Q, E, W, auto attack, auto attack. Okay. So you land the land the W dagger and throw Q. Q, 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 Q. Q. I didn't do Q, and I ordered the minion once. Holy shit, that was bad. Yeah. In this situation, I would just Q and walk back, like to dodge yeah, this, to the and then yeah, just yeah, yeah. and then just jump back in. Yeah. So you don't use Q. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I, I, I ignited them at like 20 HP. Yeah. That was horrible. So, yeah. Was a bit of a panic play. No, I mean, like I said, this is like uh, I think I've played like 20 cat games. I have never mm -hmm. played the old cat. I hated her. <laughs> okay, then you will get karma with experience, probably. Yeah. No, I think laning works. It's just like MT fighting. I think the, the people who used to play cat, you know, like how you team fight a late game, it's just more natural to to you guys, I think. Okay, so um. You bought double long third. Yeah, that's fine. Um, you still had these because you didn't use them. Okay. I was gonna say why buy, uh, why buy three potions if you can buy refillable, but you didn't use them. Okay. Yeah. Which is uh, bad. Actually, by uh, the way, actually, this is this is this is not something that I that I that I just do. Um, I I'm a big fan of refillable, but I noticed mm -hmm. that cat life never gets refillable. Oh no! That, don't trust cat life in every aspect. <laughs> you definitely <laughs> should get refillable potions. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Mm. Just to be clear. Mm. Mm -hmm. Cat Life is a great player um, on the new cat. I uh, I think he's really really good with her, but like he's not he's not faker. He's not he's not writing a Katarina Bible. <laughs> All right. So when he doesn't get refillable, then that's just preference. So what I usually do is I get double longsword and then I get the revolver first mm -hmm. and. After yep. that, I, I yep. finished the. Uh, it's perfect. Uh, right. You maximize your um, damage spikes with that. Okay, let's keep going. So, you both don't have ignite. Uh, you can just EW. He's being way too cocky. You shouldn't. Yeah, but 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 if the wave is all there, like. Um, the yes. Yeah, so wave. so what? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> What's the wave gonna do? What kind of damage does Vagar have at level four? If you just check. Level 2 Q, yeah. 150 magic damage, 6 second cooldown. W, I mean, 170 I mean, magic this, damage, and this doesn't no hit you. This there's doesn't no hit you. There's no reason I'm gonna hit by W. Yeah, yeah, alright, alright. So that's like 150 damage every 6 seconds that he can do to you. He doesn't have, he doesn't have exhaust, he doesn't even have ignite. You can just jump, you can just auto attack him and out damage him. Actually, actually, let's uh, let's see what I did here, because what the Y-Guard did here was fucking stupid. You wasted your W. Punish? Why didn't I punish? No. Sometimes you need to just ignore the wave. Like, not fighting in the wave is a good rule of thumb, but it's like driving a car. There's no absolute answer to every solution. Like, it's all, it's all, um, it's all, um, what's the word? 
Uh, it all depends on the, yeah, on yeah, the situation. Yeah, yeah. Situation. Yeah, it's yeah. situational, yeah. Okay. Uh, mm. I, walked, I, walked, I walked back too late to the, to, the, to the W there. No, that's not the problem. The problem is you comboed wrong. Okay. Alright, tell me. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, okay. The normal Olena combo that you want to do is EW and then chase. And what you do is Q and then all in. It's fine. Okay, now, why are you throwing up your W? Um, I shouldn't, yeah. You, sh you should just auto attack him, auto attack him when he runs like here. Then you can w. shampoo in front of him and then W him. Oh, okay, okay. So he can't escape it. You don't have to walk into the turret for, to proc the W. You can just stand still and auto attack him. If you have some problems with uh, attack moving, you can just st you jump in front of him, you body block him. He has to walk around you, and you can proc the dagger. Auto oh, so attack. I could I could I could yeah. I could do the E auto yep. attack for the reset, and then ah oh, yeah, all right, no, exactly. that, that makes perfect sense. Makes so perfect sense. what you're doing right here is using E and then not using the reset because you pick up the dagger because you use E a second time. You're wasting one E, and that's one auto attack reset, and at level five that's huge. Okay, use flash. Hmm. Oh wait, What's no, going yeah, on? No, 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 there's the Y again. That's fine. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't very clean, but it worked out. Yeah. No, that was that was good. After you get such a kill, you'd probably want to W so you get out of tower range faster, but it doesn't matter because you only took one turret shot regardless. Oh yeah, you can use it for the movement speed, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, totally. So, yeah. And, I just fall into the habit of using W whenever I get a kill, because that's really helpful in team fights. You know, if you just get a kill and W and run away, so you don't get locked down by CC, or you are less likely to get locked down by CC, and you can run, run, run away and kite with a 90% movement speed buff and just try to run back in. Oh, yeah, you failed the auto attack. That was that was good, but you failed the auto attack. Mm. So I have no I, problem. I was like, I was like, what is she doing? I'm level six. <laughs> She's not gonna hold that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Let's look at how you could have killed her though. That sucks, I can only jump back 50 seconds. Okay. So. Right now you have W, E, R, and your Q and E's back 3 more seconds. Okay, why can't I keep seeing you? Okay, you have Q. You have Q, right? So what you do is you E to her and W and auto attack her. And after you proc the dagger, you Q her. Like don't don't ult, just walk right here. Walk right here. So yeah. You the dagger on her. She'll be like 150 HP, right? You can just chill here and until she, you get your E back, she'll be right here. You can just Q E and E out. All right. So don't use your ult. Your ult sucks. <laughs> That's basically <laughs> what I'm saying. All right. Like using ult is really inefficient with Katarina, at least in one v ones. Like if you gank bot lane. The Enemy jungler is there, of course you want to ult to hit all three people, but not in lane. Like, only if you need the damage, or if someone is trapped and can't walk out of it, or you maybe if you have Rallys or uh, Gunblade slow or something like that. It's kind of laggy, isn't it? Yeah, man. But, hey, man, at least we have a replay system now. I'm hyped. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you I could do have... this before. Replay GG has existed before the replay system, but... True. Oh, you did it again. You... I, I'm not saying he's dead, but using W here is kind of weird because you really don't need it. You have the shampoo reset, right? Yeah. So there's a way you can, where you can improve your playstyle. Yeah, obviously. I'm not playing aggressive enough. Um, one example of what you can do, in a situation like this, where there's only one minion left, and you know Vega wants it, he doesn't have any abilities to last hit it, and he obviously won't use any abilities to last hit one single minion, you can just try to make it harder for him to get that minion. You can walk with the minion, and the moment he attacks it, you can shampo to it and give him a Q, yeah, so he can't get the last hit, yeah. And, and then you can then you can throw up your W, collect it, and then jump on your Q and kill him. Hey, that's that's really cool. Yeah. I like this. I'm gonna tell you, this is really cool. So, um, a standard chasing combo is E, 
two W, you can cast those. Uh, can both at the same time, yeah. Yeah, uh, both have no, uh, like W has no cast time. You can weave it into anything. You can actually do it while auto attacking without canceling your auto attack either. So, yeah. He's definitely, yeah, this this is like, you were, you, if you just moved one step ahead, he definitely would have still auto attacked. You'd, you'd be right here right now and give him a Q, he'd be like 400 HP. You had Thunderlords. You could just. E onto him and proc the dagger, that's Q, E, and dagger, that's Thunderlords, he's dead, with one auto attack. Alright. So, start punishing mistakes and you will climb, because that's exactly what people do once you climb. Like, the main difference you will realize, um, the main difference you will see once you get to Platinum or Diamond is that people would punish you for mistakes a lot harder than in Gold. Yeah, yeah. You no, can go sure. do whatever you f the fuck you want in Gold. Yeah, he's being so cocky. You're just don donating the CS to him. You're just saying, please take the CS. I won't, I won't harm I you. I have anyway. actually, I've actually no idea what I'm doing right now. Like, I should play a lot more. Hard. I mean, I have two levels on him, right? Mhm. Mm yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking, fucking jump him. I, I guess you fucked up the combo right there. You wanted yeah, to I have W. Yeah, no, I have no idea what that was. That was terrible. Like, yeah. I W the wave and then I jumped. Like, I, I don't know what that was. Yeah. Whenever you're stronger than your lane opponent, you can simply E W onto them and go from there. They cannot return the damage because your your base damage is so damn high. I mean, I think the only thing that I'm like doing right is, like, when I watched your uh, bot against the sender, like, I'm just trying to freeze here and, like, mm -hmm. you know, the, I mean, that's okay, but I should play a lot more aggressive. Yeah, freezing is fine, because the enemy has to step up to CS and you can chase. And the thing about Katarina is, once you start chasing, you can chase them down, like, for a long, long time with your Q and your E resets. Like I can EW, proc the dagger, Q him, E to the Q dagger, and you will have already chased him very far because you double shampooed, and you will have another shampoo. So if he flashes way after that, you can still chase. The problem with that is if you do it like right here, mm -hmm. my mouse, then he will be yeah, under yeah. turret after the second shampoo. So you want to freeze it so he has to step up for CS so you can EW, Q, and chase and chase and chase and kill him. Alright. Also notice that he does not have. Magic resist? No, he doesn't. He's going for pure damage. That, that's also something you have to punish. Yeah, easy kill. Like that wasn't even that wasn't even a really good all in. That was just you shitting on him because you're ten times stronger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, yeah, that should have uh, happened like two minutes ago. Yeah, but I mean, it's still it's still okay. I mean, he lost all that CS. I nearly killed the Y as well. But their their team didn't lose the. Yes, only the mid lane. Their team yeah, got the CS, their team got the XP. Mm. So the argument is not really that valid. True. Actually, that's true. Okay, so stop. You walk back into lane. No, I mean, I said stop. Um, <laughs> you walk back into lane, what is the first thing you do? I, I mean, I see the first thing you do is all in. That's not good. You gotta be aware of your surroundings. But, um,. The first thing, thing you should do is uh, inspect your enemy laner. So what kind of items does he have? He has no movement speed and no magic resist, and then you can say, okay, he's easy to kill. After that, you can go all in. You can also see, oh, he has a blue buff. That's also an incentive for you to go in and kill him. Yeah. So that's what you do. And uh, I uh, should have chased here, right? Uh, um, I have to look at your cooldowns, but I'm pretty sure you should. But I mean, I mean, I mean, think like like if I if I chase him there and I have no minions under turret, then I can shampoo out and he's. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, let's 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 review the case. So you know what to do when you have a similar situation. So you have a lot of burst damage because of uh, revolver. So yeah. so Q, E. Oh, this is such a safe kill. Holy shit. Okay, so. I didn't auto, right? If I auto, that was Yeah, you, you should auto tag him, He's, he'd be like 200 and... You, oh no, you, you auto tagged. No, no, auto -tagged. no, no I, I, I think that was the Thunderlord proc. I don't think I auto... Yeah, yeah, you may actually be right. Oh, I'm, I'm really not sure, but I think with the revolver... Yeah, it's, proc, yeah, it's, no, it's killed. very possible. You, what you want to do is, um, you stay around here. E auto tag W, um, just hang around and he's gonna stay right here, maybe ult you. You pick up the W, E auto tech, W up for the movement speed and try to jump to these minions. You're gonna live because I'll have a lot of base HP. Okay, let's jump. 
That's okay, you just don't know your limits yet. Okay, you're using auto attack resets to get the turret. Yeah, what I don't doing? know what you're doing right now. That's kind of weird. Uh, I was just trying to like uh, get the turret a bit lower. Yeah, but you're not attacking the turret. Like the, those minions are tanking the turret, and you're just not attacking it. Oh, oh, so those, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah, okay. Good. Okay, the reason this is so important is because the first blood turret gives you like 650 gold, right? And that's like the hugest snowball you're gonna get. Um, wait, you had ult, right? <clears throat> Could have just fucking murdered him right there. Like if he just walks up like this with his 900 HP, and you have your I can't see the value, but it's probably like a 250, 200 to 250 uh, damage. Yeah, and I also could have flashed a cage. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it just E W Q ult, and if he just he has no, f oh he has flash, but if he flashes away, you can just jump to your Q dagger, or you just force his flash, force his flash, right? So yeah, enemy is being very very careless, and it's easy to just not realize it because you're just doing your lane and stuff. But if you play, it, if you, if you play it. The, if you want to play it really solidly, you just gotta always use W before ult. Yeah. Okay. So. Did I er. Did I er there? You er. That's like okay. the biggest. <laughs> that's like the biggest yeah. no no. <laughs> you yeah, can totally. do. Okay. I don't know if we need to review this. I just okay, E W R yeah, would yeah. kill him. You also should use your Q. Um, this might seem obvious, but I will put. Emphasis on expanding why you should use Q. If you get a kill, all your skills are reset. So you should use every skill you have to get that one single low life enemy. Mm. Even if he's like, if you know I can kill him with only ult if he doesn't walk out, just spam all your abilities because you will have them yeah. back up anyways. Yeah. I think if I didn't ult there, maybe you could have killed the guy. Or would I get the reset? Yeah. Like right here, you have all your spells back, right? So, just use W, juke to the side, like... Yeah. yeah. I walked right into it, that was stupid. So, you're on your way to your Hectic Gunblade, and Vega still doesn't have any movement speed, still doesn't have any magic resist, so what you do right here is... Why would you Q that? What? He's free. He's completely free. Just E so to just this minion. just e, e to the minion and then go, yeah. And just yeah. E to the minion, W, Q, and then just wait for him to walk into the Q. If he doesn't, you just E on top of him, collect the dagger, and E on top of him again. Yeah. So, so he... it looks like it looks like I'm starting my combos off with Q way too often, right? Yeah. Well, Q is your chasing option. It always yeah. lands 350 units behind the enemy. That's something that you have to abuse. It gives you a lot of chasing potential, and targets like Vega are gonna die a lot more often. E W. E kill him. You have the Shampoo reset. You have the Shampoo reset. You have the W. Just he has nothing. He has absolutely all nothing. Alright, 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 yeah. I, I <laughs> yeah, he has no, if he has no cage, he's... Dude, dude, it's kind of weird doing this on a champion that I'm just recently picked up, but yeah, I get you, you're right. Yeah, it's, it doesn't matter, I'm just telling you No, no, it's to only play. gonna help. Yeah, it's only gonna help. Oh, wait, no. Nah, no, no, he, he, he was dead. Why did he cage? Why did he cage? Because your dagger was laying here. Um, but what he doesn't realize is that your dagger has a bigger AoE than he thinks. Let's just yes. look at this scene one more time. No. Oh. Why is it always okay? To the side? Okay, yeah, so it's all right, sorry. so he play. Yeah, I could just still jump to it. Yeah. You you can one shot him. You can yeah, with the auto attack with the funnel lord proc, you would just die, and I could jump out again. You can hit an enemy with your dagger. Or you can hit an enemy with your dagger and your shun power. It all depends on how close he stands to the dagger. This right here is kill and shun power instantly. If I is standing here to ult you right as you kill him, that's a trap. But you can kill him so quickly that you can just jump out. You can also just use your bilge water, jump here, kill him with bilge water instantly. Like he has what, no chance. What's the base damage of bilge water? Is it like 150 or? Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just for the final dot proc. He's right. definitely dead. Uh, for the uh, the, the, that actually procs final lord as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. I did not. Uh... Okay, so yeah, he's 100. percent You can also just jump right here. Yeah. Like there, there's a no, there's an area where you can jump to. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty retarded. I don't know why you're running away. 
I wanted to get him, get him both with one dagger and then yeah. Mm. I mean, okay. this way I, I think I hit him both with the mm. W. Instead of um, waiting until you can finish an enemy off with E, you can also just wait until you can finish off an enemy with E auto attack and, fin yeah. and cancel your ult sooner, so you kill them faster and avoid more damage. Oh, so you ult, then you cancel ult with E auto attack and then you go to the next one. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Now cancel, canceling your ult with E is already something that you should do, but now that E is an auto reset, you can... If you have some AD, you just wait until they're like 180 HP and just E auto attack. I mean, this should have been just game over here. Like, I got two kills for free on top mm -hmm. and get first turf left. I have no idea how I didn't snowball this game harder. Okay, so you get another solo gold for the tower. You're so fat, holy shit. Yeah, but but I mean, look at what I do now. It's, 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 it's gonna make you cry. It's so bad. Alright. I'm hyped. <laughs> I went for the Ludens because uh, uh, usually go Rylai's here, but I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fed, let's go Ludens. Okay, so you're going for Magice. Um, Magice is not generally bad. I like Magice, but what you gotta keep in mind is if you go Magice, your next priority is not another damage item. Hexy Gambit gives you a lot of damage, Magice gives you a lot of damage, but only if so you don't Magi's die. So Magice into Rylai's, alright, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, Magice yeah. into Rylai's or even guys into guardian angel if you get stacks like yeah, that's yeah. actually viable you can also get zonias or abyssal yeah totally no something that, that defensive that makes, the problem makes... with this is that vega just has to click ult <coughs> when you're half-life and it deep fight and you're dead so <coughs> there's not much counterplay to that when you have a magis you need to make sure that you have counterplay to enemy um damaging abilities i would never go magis against a shako for example because yeah. shako just yeah. pops up behind you and one shots you so, I, I would take Magus if I had 10 Dark Seal stacks, but only if I only also have a Guardian Angel. Okay, so Magus is fine, but don't go damage item, Magus, damage item, that's... Yeah, yeah, totally. Let's clear the wave, so now you should definitely leave mid, do something else, because there's no turret. Is this pink ward good at this moment, or should I put it more It's fine, I probably would have put it here. Yeah. Hmm. And I, now, now I just die for free and lose uh, all my stacks. Look at this, I remember this. I yeah. was so tilted. Okay. So what's happening here? Vi is going for a bot lane gang. Okay, no, no, so... I get, I get Vi ulted into Leona ult and I just insta die. But I, I, I mean, I didn't realize that my bot lane was that far behind. Yeah, they, they saw don't even you. walk up. They don't they even walk you. up. Yeah, I can't even move the whole time. Yeah, there, there we go. Yeah, that was unlucky. Have enough information to do that. Okay. Which one there you are? <coughs> um, didn't buy. Oh yeah, you lost all your stacks. So yeah. this is absolutely terrible. <laughs> you shouldn't go for risky plays after getting magis. After you're getting magis, just go for safe stuff. Acquire your stacks very slowly. Mm. I think I should just not build magis until like you know until I get better in cat. Just yeah, maybe. Good. There's no reason to build Magi's. I'm really confident in building Magi's in brand. But yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but you don't have to. Oh, build it's it. my best champion, yeah. Yeah, so. Dude, by the way, it's so it's so dumb how easy it is to one shot ADCs with cat. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> you dumb. You can just E auto attack gunplay, they blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you're that fat, they probably get some magic resist. <laughs> At least where I play. Maybe not where you play. <laughs> no, no, seriously, dude. I, I'm. I also need to stop getting void stuff early on all the time because I'm, I'm always like, I'm, I'm always like, I need void stuff. They're gonna build them more, and then they don't build them more. Yep. Nah, I should probably not have pushed away. I just went top straight. And here, I, oh yeah. Uh, let me pause, please, for a sec. Because this is embarrassing. Alright, so um, I'm gonna mess up really badly because my gun blade was not on the button where I usually have it. And yeah, watch <laughs> me die now. I'm, I'm I was matching I was matching free and my gun blade was not on free and I die for free. Watch this. This is so embarrassing. I so flash for no reason and then I then I matched the, wrong into, into the cage. And I, yeah. <laughs> and so, I, so you first you flash into the cage, then you yeah, get ignited. The, and I can't find the gunblade button now. Watch me, watch me. I, I queue at least, but oh god. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. 
I, I don't think we need to discuss that. No, no, we don't need to. But you can imagine that I tilted off that play. I can imagine that, yes. <sighs> okay, so what, what did you buy? Nothing. Let's oh, by the way, quickly, uh, can you tell me how you do that to set up the two daggers so that I clear the whole wave? Because I've been trying that, but I don't know how to do it. You tank the melee minions until the yeah. mage minions start attacking you, then you uh, pop your W and walk backwards for like one or two meters, and then you'd queue the melee minions and just jump onto the first dagger. All right, all right. And then the second dagger lands on top of you. Okay, so you're in a trap right now. You can see why. Let's see what's gonna happen. You panic, you walk into the cage. You're dead. She didn't have to do that, but yeah, I was. Okay, so. Let us be. Um, constructive. What you do in such a situation. So. Vega's obviously trapping you. No, he's not, but he sees you here. So, right now, you have a lot of damage, he has. <laughs> no magic resist. So what you do is you throw up your W, you gunblade them, Q them, you just ult them. Like, I should have been able to kill him, right? If I just like Q, Q, gunblade, auto. If you only ult it, he would die. <laughs> if you <laughs> yeah. nothing but ult and then just right. finish him with gunblade E, he would definitely die. You were dead 100%, but yeah, okay. Uh, I just panicked there, I guess. At this point, I probably would have sold Magis and just got Ludens. I saw, yeah, I saw it next back, I think. You're taking a lot of time to clear these minion waves. Yeah, I th think it took like 15 seconds to clear that, or the, like 10 seconds to clear <coughs> that, when it could have been like 3 or 4 seconds. So you can definitely work on improving that. Um, okay. So I hope you're not d trying to dive here. Good. I mean, you have a lot of damage, but... If you're overconfident after you build matches and die, then you're gonna die because your damage is not as high as you think it is. Because you actually lose damage instead of getting damage over time by dying with magis. And um, yeah, if I would have just ulted you. Yeah, whenever someone charges at you and you, he misses you, just pop your W when running away. It's not because yeah. you need the, yeah, the no, movement speed, speed, but. Yeah. No, it's not because you need m the movement speed, but you might want to go back in. Like, if somebody ch uh, chases you and he misses his dash, mm -hmm. like right here, and you W and walk away, and he chases, you could think about doing a Q, Hexa Gunblade, E, ult combo. And yeah. if you think about it, Eing him, the passive, the Gunblade, and the first ult tick that's like 800, 900 damage of burst. I don't know if it really is at this point. If you had a uh, Ludens, it probably would be. And then just ult, and she would probably be dead instantly. Almost instantly. I, mean, I could have actually definitely could have killed her. I could have yeah. just eat her Q and then do the W back into yeah combo. I would have killed her. The thing is, she, this this Y built full against me. She went Ma into Banshees. Wow. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. Yeah, that's very effective. Okay, so you're farming bot lane, but your team is fighting for Drake. This Drake is very important. You should probably go join them. Let's see what I do. Oh, I'm gonna kill the Varus here, I think. Yeah, you see him? He's just loafing around here, chilling. That's risky. That's greedy. Just walk around. It's safe. Okay. Yeah, what I meant with risky and greedy was walking into this. If he just walked away, you would have been okay. fine. Just, just... Yeah. Yeah. No, there's no need to be, so... Uh, now I think I picked up a dragon. What you want to do is E and then, okay, perfect. Uh, am I doing it right to like do maximum damage to dragon here? No, but it doesn't matter. Okay. You can uh, use auto resets, you're not using the auto resets. Yeah, I think here I jumped over. Yeah, okay. Let me blow up this guy. Okay, so you got him, but. I think you could have chased that even better. I'm gonna show you how I would chase this in an optimal chasing <coughs> scenario. If oh wait, you would have. W w let me try first. You would have EWQ them, right? Instead of Q them first. Okay, I'm gonna pause soon. Okay, so right here. What's the best way to chase? You don't have E. Um, probably it's probably the 
Best way to W right now for the movement speed. Yeah. And Q, because and she's in Q, Q range. And then, and then, you, then you're gonna be in, in the next dagger really quickly, yeah. No, what you wanna do is Q her to make the dagger land somewhere around here, and then W and then just walk forward a little bit and then just stand still and wait until you can collect the dagger. Then, 1.25 seconds are over, you collect the dagger, and you just jump over here. You can hit her with the AoE, she's still in range, and you can auto-attack her, auto-attack, auto-attack, and you still have your E, because if, if, she, if she flashes away, you can still E ult. You can E auto-attack, if she's low. So maximizing your chasing potential involves throwing your Q dagger, throwing your W, picking up your w and, w, and then jumping to the Q dagger. Alright. So, it might seem weird because you're wasting time waiting around doing nothing, but you're actually... No, saving I mean, up your you're doing shandos. something to get a reset like it, it makes yeah. sense yeah. yep so backing here is probably the best option i could just want to fight there's no objectives to get yeah w w w there was no reason to ignite Let's go for this scenario. So, alright, so this would be this would be one of the moments for you W to get your reset. Then you, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I see that now. I need to start doing that. Uh, let's go over this slowly. Why a flash? Why did I flash? Mm, he wasn't in range, but he didn't have boots. You could have just tanked the W. Maybe you wanted to dodge the W, but no. I mean, there's no way I'm so fat. Like <laughs> I don't need to. I think. Yeah. Yeah, Shampo behind him. That's better. Oh, if you shampoo behind him, it's harder for him to get away. Yeah. You shampoo behind him and just instantly throw up the W and yeah. auto attack him. If he doesn't flash away, you will proc the W dagger on top of him, get the shampoo reset, and keep auto attacking him until he flashes away. Or if he doesn't flash away, you should just Q him and um, just walk until he uh, walk behind him, like chase him until he walks into the Q dagger. If he does not walk into the Q dagger, you can use your shampoo reset to shampoo on top of him and auto attack him. Then get, pick up the dagger, just walk to it, and then auto tag and Shampo auto tag him again. So, yeah. right here, throw up the W. Or okay, no, even I, even I if we I are in that, it. even if we are in this situ uh, situation, there's still an easy way for you to kill him by just using W Q. Like you should have both spells, yeah. Just W Q yeah. and W. No, I don't. I have no idea why I didn't W. Yeah. Ignite is just completely wasted. Yeah, alright. Forward this a bit and just look at the team fights. Okay, so there's a rumble in the jungle right now. And this is a perfect cleanup situation. So, naturally, you would want to go for the Varus instantly because you see, oh, there's a low life AD carry right there, right? So, yeah. what I would do is probably jump around here and Q Varus. So, whenever I start fighting, I'll. So I have two daggers that I can place. In this situation, I would want one dagger right here, and one dagger right here where they are running. One inside them, one in the blocking the escape path. So I would uh, jump around here, W, and Q the Varus so the dagger lands around here, and then just ult. If Leona stuns me, I will just pick up the dagger, and Varus is somewhere around here, right? I will just jump to the dagger and jump to Varus if he's not dead yet kill them and then just jump back and do the whole combo again. Okay. So, they're healing and have a lot of shield. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're not gonna... Okay. Yeah, you have enough damage, just kill them like that. Oh, this is a bit slow. Yeah. That's no reason for fancy combos right here when you're old with uh, just as well. Yeah, jump behind her, that's perfect. You're not using W at all, are you? Yeah, I'm never using W. Like I'm, I'm using it. That's weird. No, uh, that that was that was really not clean. I could have played that without ult yeah. a lot faster. Yeah, there's there's a lot of damage potential that you're just yeah yeah not I using. Mean, I mean, W is like what what does the most damage, I think. Anyway. Yeah, W and Q. Yeah. It's it's the same dagger. It's a lot of damage. It's a huge amount of damage. Um. Oh dear, you're very, being very slow, but that's not something I can criticize from a gameplay point of view. That's just you being inexperienced or having not, not having practiced enough. Yeah. 
Let's see. Alright. Um, so you have two targets. There's I and Vegas. And what I've been talking about before, what I want to do is I want to have a dagger here to kill Vi. I want to have a dagger here to kill Vega. So what I would do is E, W, and Q Vi so the dagger lands here, right? So I want to pick up the dagger. I don't care if Vi gets killed by the dagger. I just want to jump to the Q dagger immediately and kill Vega and then jump back to her and kill her. But you don't use your Q at all. Okay, so. Sometimes you use W, sometimes you use Q, but <laughs> you seem to not use... Did I, did I W when I jumped over the wall? Yeah, you did, but you didn't Q. Okay, yeah, I should have Q'd instantly and then E'd on the Vega. I mean, I can't kill this Karma, she had a Spirit Possession. Okay, now you're just chilling here. Oh, you're leaving. Oh. Mm. Just stay in the brush. If you're not planning on running away, if you're gonna go walk back and forth and kite away, just stay in the brush. Because Vi saw you. Yeah. With, I mean, if you didn't see you, um, just shampoo away. If you're in great danger and you think you're like, oh, I'm gonna die, just spam shampoo away instead of shamp shampooing to your target. Like, that's safe in such a situation. But those are split second decisions, I don't blame you yeah. for not making these. Looks like a long drawn out team fight. Okay, that's a kill. Oh, that was an old waste. That's fine, that's fine. Let's jump, Timo. Why did you flash? Did I flash? Yeah, you flashed. Yeah. But E was E was cooldown. It should be. I guess be. I had to. It shouldn't be on cooldown. Okay. So, let's look at what happened. Okay, let's only look at you. No, that was after Varus died. Here we go. Okay, so Thresh gets the pick on Varus. That kill has to be free. Well, that's something you have to pick up. But why don't you just Q? The Q will land right around here. E and W yeah. and then just stand still. Yeah, and he's dead already. Just stand still and if he doesn't move, just walk a bit to the side. You're gonna... Oh my god, Cicerone is so annoying. You're gonna pick the dagger up. Right about here, and the AoE is gonna hit him as well. So he, you, you, you can hit him with the Q dagger and the W dagger if it just. But why wouldn't you auto attack? Like, why would you stand still? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. When you I say stand auto, still, right? I'm, oh, I'm yeah, not, yeah. not press S. You can auto attack him. That's yeah. that's fine. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't have so. there. You still have Thunder Lords. I don't know why Sichuan he flashed. Sichuan flashed over. over the wall there. He could have queued, man. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, right now. We have the situation going on. Karma is coming in. Vagar is trying to poke your team. You are separated. Your team is right around here on the top side, and you are alone with Thresh. You know that the enemies still have your have the ults, and there are two tanks in the in the vicinity right now. Okay, so mm. the Vi had the Benjis and the Ma. That's why I yeah. was a bit careful here because I didn't have yeah. Void. Yeah, but those people don't have the damage to kill you. What I would have done. Here, right here. Oh, please work. Right here, I would have. Eat right here. Mm -hmm. Or maybe here. No, here. And W Q, so the dagger lands right around yeah, here. Yeah. And if Vi ults you and Leona ults you, you, you're just gonna stand there and take it because it doesn't really matter that much. Like, they're not gonna kill you. If Vi counter builds you specifically and just builds tanky MR items, you're just gonna say, okay, then you can't really kill me. I mean, she can, of course, kill you in a 1v1 if she attacks you and attacks you and attacks you. But if you get stunned after you throw up your W, you will deal the W damage, the passive dagger damage, even though you're stunned and you will get the Shunpo reset and you will be able to ju jump to the Q dagger mm -hmm. after the stun is out. You can just spam E while being stunned and try to jump to the dagger. And you will have another reset. You can jump over here and ult. You should have ult. You didn't. Um... Okay, so, um, you just, I guess you could say you kind of baited your Vi ultimate, that's fine. Okay, um, okay, I'm pretty sure that you had here. Yeah, I probably had, maybe it was, it was probably a pending flash. 
Yeah, I mean, I had eight. No wait, 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 but but I, I couldn't have jumped to the Chimo. I think uh, no wait. I, I think I tried to jump to Chimo and then I had the flash. I don't know. Yeah, but you could have just walked one step right here and then just jump jump to. Him. Or I could have jumped put on the flash and I would have yeah, been fine. Yeah, yeah, there's like no yeah, damage no threat here. right here. Even if you got stunned, I wouldn't. Okay, maybe that would have mattered a little bit, but. Okay, so now you have your E because you flashed, so that's cool. I didn't W again. See it. You, don't, you don't have W right now. Oh, I don't oh, have cool. W. You used yeah. it before. Yeah. So she's gonna go over the wall. Yeah, Timo picks her up. I could have, could have eaten Timo. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yep. So, I'm gonna wrap this up. Um. Are there any questions that you still have? Uh, please just let me let me try to summarize. Um, so wait, um, I, I I I seem to never use W, and that's a big thing. And I should probably generally try to uh, start my commas off with E instead of Q, right? When you're ahead, like in this scenario, you are very ahead. You are very very strong, and you could definitely afford wasting a little bit of damage to get the better chase potential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you need to use your spells. Getting yeah. kills resets them, so be generous. Yeah. No, no, but uh, this has been really helpful, man. Thanks for taking your time. Yeah, no problem. All right. Um, no, really. Um, I'm really grateful. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna unlock you a skin or something, man. Yeah, sure. All right. I, I've got to get something to eat. <clears throat> yep. Good. All right. Take care, buddy. Thanks. Yeah. Same. Goodbye.